First of all, I've been practicing medicine for almost 40 years, and every doctor knows how to use pharmaceuticals. But pharmaceuticals, they can help people in emergencies, but as far as chronic illness, they just can't cut it. Uh, then nutraceuticals came on the line, you know, vitamin C, vitamin E, you know, five, six decades ago. And, and nutraceuticals are good uh, in the sense that they can help energy in the body like coenzyme Q10 or, or the carnitines or magnesium. And, and we use, use them on a day-to-day -day basis. But there's a whole new world of energy medicine that's evolved in the last, actually the last couple of decades. And that's what I call electroceuticals. And electroceuticals include ev everything from a sauna to magnetism to uh, pulsed biofeedback to microcurrent technologies where you put a little bit of microcurrent uh, inside the body. And basically, these types of technologies help heal the body by restoring the body with natural ATP. We call it adenosine triphosphate, but basically that's the energy of life. ATP not only gives us the energy of the cell, but when you fortify a cell with ATP, you're not only restoring the cell, you're rejuvenating the cell, and most importantly, you're repairing the cell. So with all this emotional toxicity we have, or physical toxicity, environmental toxicity, microwave technologies that are really damaging our cells, the most important thing we need is ATP to keep that energy of the cell sharp enough or high enough to prevent cellular breakdown. I mean, I'm a cardiologist. Uh, unfortunately, I've been at the bedside of hundreds of people who I had to resuscitate. And guess what? I resuscitate them through shocking the heart. In other words, just like the heart can go out of rhythm, sometimes we have to take a strong electrical shock to get it back. Now, as a cardiologist for years, for decades, I realized that we're electrical. Our body's electrical. And uh, um, over the years, I've realized that one of the best ways of getting the body back into optimum health is using electrical energy. And the simplest electroceutical that I know is grounding the feet on the earth where you suck up electrons. And any of these types of healing have merit, especially hands-on healing. Hands-on healing is another electrical form of medicine that actually works because you're putting your hands on the body. It's very medicinal. And the more physicians and healers put their hands on the body, I believe more healing takes place just because of the transfer of electrical energies. Whether you bring electrostim to the table or grounding to the table, what this does, not only does it help build ATP in the body, which is crucial, but whenever you take on electrons in the body, you're making the blood thinner. And we know that hypercoagulable states, sludgy blood, is the most common cause of stroke, heart attack, cancers, tumors, neurodegenerative disease, diabetes. So you, you, you've got to get your blood in a non-toxic state. And that's why I'm so excited about the future. Electrical te technologies will do this. It comes down to the basic energy of the cell. The higher the energy of the cell, the greater the productivity. That's why electrical medicine works. That's why the myoscope works, the acuspoke works. You know, any of these far infrared sauna works because we're really increasing the energy of the cell. And remember, the more energy the body has, the more it can thwart off and, or put off the insults in our environment. But microcurrent technology has basically been around for, oh my gosh, centuries. I mean, even with magnetism. Uh, and what we learned from magnetism is that the energy of magnets can sometimes enhance bone healing. So if you get a fracture of a bone and basically put in a little electro stim, not from magnets, but maybe something like uh, an acuscope or a myoscope or a, an ondamed for that matter, or any, any type of technology that can put in a billionth of an amp of electricity, what happens is, is that this electricity, like this billionth of an amp, for example, you know, helps to support the cellular function where you can get tissue healing. And the earliest technologies have been in fractures of bones. You can have a fracture in a bone in an area where you don't have a blood supply, like let's say the middle of your tibia or up in your femur. And some of those joint or those bone unions are difficult to heal. But if you can bring a little bit of electrostim, where the electrostim can turn on enzyme systems to help turn on the production of ATP, remember what I said before, ATP repairs cells. So now you can use a little electrostim uh, to help heal the cell, and when you do that, you can get union of bones, for example, and other miracles. For example, another one, is my, my, my favorite, is years ago, if an NFL football player turned on his ankle, it would take six weeks to eight weeks to, hurt, to really 
heal a sprained ankle. Now you can bring some electro stem or put that ankle in the magnetic field and those ligaments are going to heal in one to two weeks and he's back playing again. So when you bring these technologies to the table, you bring a whole new form of electrical medicine that can help the body to heal and that's what's really nice about it. And I really feel that electrical medicine is in its breakthrough days right now because when you bring electrical medicine to the table, you're bringing a whole new modality that doesn't cause any harm to the body but can help restore and regenerate the body. So I'm really excited about this whole new wave of electrical medicine.